Welcome to another edition of Dro Talks Audiobooks. Dro here. Today I'm going to be doing another book tag or booktube tag. This one's a little different because this is a book tag I created myself. If there's one very similar to it out there, it's completely by accident. But since I create each question, the chances of that are very highly unlikely. So why did I decide to create my own book tag? Well, I've done two book tags now. So that basically makes me like an expert. And I wanted to do a book tag based upon our favorite authors. So this is the BookTube author tag. Who's your favorite authors and why? Well, actually, it's a little misleading. But let's get to it with question number one. Name an author that is best at world building. Although there's a lot of authors out there that are amazing world builders, I want to select one uh, that that comes to my mind that's more classical in nature. I'm not sure how old classical, how many years need to pass for it to be considered classical, and one that is more modern. Again, not sure what those rules are, but according to me, that would be J.R.R. Tolkien. He basically created a whole genre with the fantasy genre. Every fantasy book has elements of it. He also created several languages within his world. I mean, you can't get much more world building than that. And for our modern pick, I would like to select J.K. Rowling. Yeah, what, what is it with these abbreviated first names? But I think hands down everyone can agree. Harry Potter redefined a genre. I mean, wizarding up until then was something completely different, and she made it her own with its huge world and had a broad impact on our youth, brought a lot of people to reading, so I I definitely think there's hands down she has to be in this category in terms of world builder. There's a lot of other honorable mentions, but we'll do that for a separate video. Question number two. Name an author that made the most interesting villain. Well, for me, if you haven't read this book, I highly recommend it. It's called Damon. It's a two-part series, Damon and Freedom. It's written by Daniel Suarez. And in this series, there's a villain, and his name is Matthew Sobel. And he's, uh, think of him as uh, Elon Musk based on video games. He created like a World of Warcraft type game. He was very rich. And upon his demise, he created, I guess you could call them some sort of algorithms and a master plan that really shaped the path of humanity in general. So, I mean, he was cruel in his cruel calculus, as they like to call that, the military people out there. But definitely he was a fascinating villain and it was a fascinating ride for this story. Definitely highly recommend that. Question number three, name an author that broke your heart through his or her storytelling. This is another one of those that there's a, there's a long list of very cruel authors out there. I'm looking at you, looking at you. You know who you are, Mr. Game of Thrones. You know who you are. But I didn't want to be so Captain Obvious over there. So I decided to go old school, go way back. Way back to a time when I was reading books and they were nothing but joy. And then all of a sudden I happened upon a book that was really very realistic. And you're like, what's going on? And boom, the despair, the, the, the treason of it all. And I'm not going to give away anything other than the title. And of course, that is Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. This is a classic. This one I'm pretty sure is a classic. I don't want to, I don't want to give anything away about this book. Uh, This is a book that a lot of our younger viewers out here probably have never read. It was a staple when I was growing up. It probably still is a staple. So a lot of you probably have read it. But I don't want to give it away just in the event that this book has gotten pushed back with time. I think you need to check this out for yourself and wonder and find out why it's heartbreaking. Question number four. Name an author that keeps you coming back for more. I'm looking at you, all you serial authors out there. Yeah, writing a book or two and then keeping us waiting year upon year upon year. So, although there's a new book on my list, a new author on my list, I just did a review, Life Reset. I'm not going to include that guy because I do believe 
That book's coming out soon, so the wait shouldn't be too, too tragic. And I'm almost positive it's a trilogy based upon from what I've read in the, in the, in, in the Google. The Google knows all. But I am going to look at you, Marco Clus, and also you, Craig Allison. I've been with you since book one, and every year you release a book, and then I'm there waiting, and then you release it, and then I get it, and I'm very happy, and then it's brought with despair, because I know I'm going to be waiting at least a year, and you, Marco Clus, you've been on break for like two months. I know you want to try your other creative tendencies, but think of the fans. Think of the fans. We, we we need we need the conclusion to this frontline series. We we need it. So so get back to work. <sighs> I digress. Question number five. Name an author that you would like to meet. For me, this is Drew Hayes. I love his books. I, I would also put him in that world building ca- category. I think he's one of the best at building worlds. But I would actually like to meet him not only for his stories. But I follow him on some of his social medias, and he seems like a really awesome guy. And I and I think we would, you know, just, it would be a cool individual to get to know. So, yeah, Drew Hayes. Question number six. This is the final question. I wanted to keep this book tag low. But question number six is, name an author that completely blew your mind with his or her story. And I'm going to go back to one I've already mentioned, and that's Daniel Suarez. Same book, Damon and Freedom. It's a two-part series. This book, uh, again, I mentioned a little bit about uh, Matthew Sobel, the way he basically derails the world. And he sees it for what it is, and he maps a plan to change it without any regards to human life. I mean, people die in this book. But the way technology starts to convey and intrude in our world and the implications that that has... And take that back, because I, I mean, I went and Googled a lot of the technologies that were mentioned there. And guess what? They're, they're, they're there. They're real technologies. I mean, this book, this series could happen any moment now. You just need a crazy billionaire that's about to die. So let's just hope uh, Elon Musk either has a better plan that won't lead to so many deaths or that he's more be- benevolent than Mr. Matthew Sobel. But this book completely blew my mind. And the way I started perceiving our reality, I mean, what, where we live right now and how we react, we are pretty much already entering the phase of cyborg with our smartphones. They're a part of us. I know when my phone dies, my battery dies or anything, I feel lost. I think all of you can relate. And that's not a good sign for where we're heading. Or maybe it is a good sign, depending on your point of view. So that was my book tag, original book tag. I'm... Looking forward to see how many of you out there take on this book tag. I'm going to tag several individuals and hopefully they can share the joy of this book tag. Uh, one of them is Book Invasion. He's a, he's a YouTuber out there that has very similar tastes and books to myself. I find myself gravi- gravitating to his channel a lot. He is the king of intros. I hope he does an intro booktube tag one of these days. So definitely check out his channel. The link will be below. I'm also going to tag Danny Bates. Uh, Danny, ba- Danny Bates is one of the only other audiobook only YouTubers that I found besides myself. There's a lot of Book Invasion does both book and audiobooks. But Danny Bates is 100% audiobook reviews just like me. And uh, we've hit it off. We're actually working on a collaboration that's going to be coming out hopefully within a week or two. And uh, so look forward to that as well. I also want to tag a new booktuber I found uh, on, on one of her initial welcome to booktuber, booktube newbie tags. I've seen a few of her videos and I'm liking what I've seen so far. I like her perspective. So I want to tag passion for book 79. And let's see what you do with this tag. And one of the first members of the community that actually welcomed me was Satina Loves to Read. So I want to tag her. She's tagged me in the past. So tag your it. There's a lot of great booktubers out there, YouTubers alike. So please feel free to share this tag and we'll see what you think about your favorite authors. Thank you for watching. If you like this type of content, appreciate it. Do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe. Ring that bell to get notified and we'll see you next time.